Hi all and welcome to another GCSE PE video. This one's a paper two topic and this one's quite a basic topic but you've really got to get this right. This is looking at the benefits of physical activity and fitness on the physical, emotional and social well-being. Okay so first what I want to do is look at the physical. If you're in part to part in fitness or physical activity you're going to make improvements to your cardiovascular fitness and also they're going to have a benefit on your health. They're going to reduce the chance of coronary heart disease. They're going to reduce the chance of stroke and they're both kind of circulatory problems that can happen as you get older. So by doing fitness that reduces those. You're going to lower your resting heart rate and you're going to increase the size of your cardiac muscle and that's going to make it stronger and more efficient and it puts less strain on it. You're going to have benefits to body composition you're gonna have a lower chance of obesity, and obesity can lead to type two diabetes, which can lead to serious health problems. Because you're exercising, you're gonna have improvements to muscular strength and muscular endurance. So by exercising, your muscles are gonna get stronger, so you're less likely to injure them doing everyday tasks, or picking things up, or carrying things. You're gonna get less fatigued as well. Your bones are also gonna benefit. So by doing weight-bearing activities, walking, jogging, exercising in some way, where you're using your legs, you're not supported, you're going to reduce the chance of osteoporosis. Now, osteoporosis is a weakening of the bones. And as you get older, if that process kicks in osteoporosis, you can increase the risk of fracturing or damaging your bones. It's really common in old people because they don't exercise as much. OK, let's look at the emotional uh, benefits, also known as the mental benefits. OK, so to do with our brain. Now, you're going to get a sense of enjoyment and fun and we get that through the release of serotonin so serotonin is released when we do physical activity in our body and it's our feel-good hormone relieve stress while we're doing sport we're concentrating on that sport or that physical activity and we're going to forget maybe other stresses that we have that serotonin is also going to help reduce our stress which is good for our body and good to reduce things like coronary heart disease it could be an emotional or psychological challenge so something that's really difficult to do you've got to focus on and you're gonna have higher self-esteem if you reach your targets. The last one's called aesthetic appreciation. I'll put that down here so you can see how to spell that. Now aesthetic appreciation is watching something, watching a performance, and you gain enjoyment by watching it like a spectator. You appreciate how difficult, how hard, or how beautiful that performance was. So the last one we'll look at is social health. You probably know that by taking part in sport, you meet your friends or you meet new people. You might join a new team and develop new friendships. OK, so we get three social benefits. One is we get cooperation. Two, we develop friendship and social mixing. Three, we get a positive attitude towards competing, whether that's winning or whether that's losing. OK, we, we, we learn certain skills within sport that are really good social skills that we can use outside of sport. So I purely talked about positives there, but there are some negatives. Sport can lead to injury and that can have a negative impact on your physical health. But also if you're long term injured, that can have an impact on your psychological health as well. And you can feel uh, upset or feel like you have mental pressure for being injured and wanting to get back out and performing. Sometimes at a very young age, people are pigeonholed and pushed into one sport and end up specialising that in one sport. And if something goes wrong or they stop enjoying that sport, then they don't have another outlet. Sport can also have stresses. People feel under pressure to win. They can feel under pressure to perform well. And if they're having a bit of a bad run or a bit of a bad run of performances, they can feel under stress. Sometimes sport can lead to an obsession with body composition and body weight issues too. I hope this video and the others are helping you with your revision. Check them out and good luck.